In this episode, we're saying goodbye to all that happened last year, looking at the journey we've covered in the last six months. Make sure to watch our previous video for the highlights of the first half of the year. The River Thames greeted us with views as good, if not better, as we remember from the previous summer. Where are you going? <laughs> we were already cruising together with our friend Zoe, and this summer we were about to reconvene with our friend Yellow as well who brought his boat Toady from London. The fleet is here. The fleet looking. is gathered. We are here now. Welcome to the very first flotilla meeting. The festi flotilla. Uh, going with the flow. The cruising crew. Cruisers and snoozers. You cruise, you snooze. <laughs> uh, the summer vibe tribe. Oh, I like that one. And the Thames Gems. <laughs> I'm quite partial to you, you cruise, you snooze. <laughs> Might you snooze a little bit of cruise. Yeah. <laughs> we had a vague route in mind. Turning left at Reading, we aimed to get to Oxford. Then travel downstream as far as we can get. We weren't in any hurry, staying weeks at each spot and just going with the flow. Well, there's two types of cruising, isn't there? There's getting here cruising, and then there's, you know, pleasure cruising, and meandering, having no fixed destination. And the whole point that we came up here for the beginning of summer is that we could spend the whole summer meandering at our own pace. I don't know which hat to wear, quite like this. Oh, there's this one, which looks more like a captain's hat, but it doesn't say captain on it. I stand by you when you're falling, when the river is calling. I said I love you forever, we can make it together. The Thames is truly made for cruising. It is wide, the distance between locks is long, and the locks themselves are a breeze, with lock keepers doing most of the work. Our flotilla went unnamed for a month, until we let you guys decide. So my top two flotilla names are uh, You Cruise, You Snooze and The Thames Gems. Thames Gems. Namaste Navy. Mine is The Summer Vibe Tribe and I haven't got the second one. Do I need to have a second one? Yeah. yeah. We run a poll on our social channels and the winner, by quite a stretch, was The Summer Vibe Tribe. So it was decided. I've just seen a goose in the bushes on its own and on the back on his back or her back it's all bloody and his feathers look all mangled. Oh poor goose. Perfect. Okay, so we just need to keep an eye on him. Is that one out there that's mm -hmm. sort of asleep on himself? I think he's gonna get him. <gasps> wow, he's got him. Brilliant, thank yeah, you so David. much. Really oh, appreciate that. You did amazing. That. Wow, well done. Seems quite sturdy. It's leaning, a, leaning a bit. Yep, let's do it. Okay, I'm going in. boring 
this bird song. They look really curious. We need to sing a cow song so they come to you. <laughs> this year, for the very first time, we service the engine on our own. We've seen a few engineers do it enough times that we were confident to tackle it ourselves. It was actually straightforward and we felt so proud that we did it. Never done this before, but yeah, that was pretty minging. So I've been here for about two hours now. No, you haven't. What are you doing with all the marmite anyway? Well, we haven't done it in a while, so. It was last done at the service and then I did it the year before. On the way back, we stopped for dinner as we have seen the coming rain. This was a perfect spot for the upcoming gathering that we planned to have. It was marked on a map, filmed and we penciled in the date to have our friends over. The idyllic scenery across Port Meadow was brimming with life. There is no way to describe my feelings when going for a run in the morning and seeing rabbits playing everywhere. We arrived at the spot with the swings a few days before the gathering to get to know the place and to prepare everything. We even bought bunting for more festive atmosphere. Off the side of the boat. It looks a lot better there. In the middle of the field, just behind us, was a paved road to access a nearby lock. As soon as I saw it, I had an idea. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So our engine is overheating. We had a little bit of a breakdown last night. Anyway, we rang Dave this morning. Yeah, so he's given us some advice to bleed the skin tank and then top it up with water. Here, and there's a little fuse. Now hopefully, this is the answer to all our problems. That was not only the day our skin tanks had a top up. The flotilla also had a technical upgrade. Flotilla, over. Okay. Like a delay. Itchy, itchy, tiller. Over. Copy that. Marigold received. Over. <laughs> summertime, summertime. Love's in its prime. Summertime, summertime. Everything's just fine. But up and came. We couldn't go very far, as one of the locks was shut, so we stopped just before it, still being in Oxford until the lock was repaired. We had a barbecue instead. Finally, the lock uh, reopened yesterday and 
today I'm going to move Alba. Miles is at work in London so I'm going to be moving mostly by myself. It's midday and it's about 30 degrees today so it's going to be a very hot adventure. Midnight Row is back. We're going to go to the other two thirds of the flotilla, more just around the corner on the other side of Festi Island. Hello! <laughs> Hello! How are you doing? Namaste. 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 <laughs> How is it going out here? It's very romantic. It isn't is, it? isn't it? It's quite nice. Lovely. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a flotilla if we didn't bring a boat with it. <laughs> Are we technically triple mooring? <laughs> we're, we're triple mooring. <laughs> <laughs> Myos, I asked you not to talk about B because of recording. I was saying clever words like you're really <laughs> No. Anyway, we'll pretend Rich isn't doing anything. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the candle was gonna go out. The wind was blowing and the door was open, but the candle never went out. Never went out. Choose your vocal style. <laughs> Press A for ridiculous. <laughs> Press B for country of Western. <laughs> Press C for Radio 4. <laughs> One of the highlights of the year was going to Henley Regatta by boat. And sure enough, we spent four days going up and down the mile, watching races and loving the atmosphere. How lucky we are to fix our engine just before Henley. Could we do three days of cruising up and down with it? I don't know. I had well forgotten that the engine had broken and moved on quite quickly from that. Yeah. Um, but definitely today I'm living the dream, living the best life. Just taking it all in, this is this is a day to remember. Well, a weekend to remember. Come on! So we're heading to Windsor today, aren't we? We're going to pop in and see Grandma Liz and it's been forecasted to rain all weekend. So it's raining not, anymore. not anymore, I think it's changed this morning. I think it just don't believe the weather, it just is, you know? I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. We are walking away from Windsor Castle. This beautiful road that just stretches for miles. For me? And, All for me? Yeah, and I think the further away we're going to get, the more of the castle we're going to see. After Windsor, we returned to Henley-on-Thames to reunite with our flotilla friends. Zoe was finishing her funky paintwork on Marigold. In Henley, I did a surprising amount of micro-moving, and one day, 
I met a group of Olympians who recently returned from Tokyo. This was the very first time I saw and held an Olympic gold medal. From Henley, I began my longest single-handed cruise through a few locks, back to the serenity of River Islands. Twice this summer, our engine cut off in the middle of the river. Just holding on to the tree. We fixed it ourselves, but we knew it was time to get back onto the canal so our skin tanks will be flushed by a professional. All right, I'm doing it. We've got it. So here we are, the end of our Thames trip, and as per last year, we've got to get on to Kennet and Avon. Travelling in a storm was one of the wettest moves we've done so far doing some serious moving today. The weather is not as good as we hoped. However, the change of outfit was the best idea I had all day. In Newbury, the paddleboard was put away, the chimney got another clean and Alba started being prepared for the cold season. We're gonna change our water pump because we've been having water issues. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. This is the red one. There one by one, we water ticked pump. off more right. and more tasks from our winter prep list or the list of never ending boat jobs. Call it what you like. Yes, we've got water and... It's quieter. Yay, I'm fine! Oh God, it doesn't sound like what it that thing wow. the window frames were next Autumn brought us some gorgeous scenery and we went to explore some historic sites nearby. Wilton Windmill and Crofton Power Station. Amazingly, both of them still work. And of course, the day when I walked into a flock of emus on my casual countryside walk. At last, before it got seriously cold, our gas boiler got fixed. After months of cold showers, the luxury of hot water was yet again at home. I am so happy. We've just had an engineer on and he fixed our gas. We've got hot water and I've just, I just can't, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to go have a shower. I'm going to have a hot shower. It's been, it's been over two months. It's been probably three months. I don't know, it's too long. Frosty mornings will never stop bringing magic into our lives. After multiple crashes, a swim in the Thames on day two, 
Camping outside in the rain for three days, our drone has lost its leg after a serious tree crash. This time, it didn't escape its fate. Just before Christmas, we finally made it to Pusey, where Alba's skin tanks got a flash. Two leaks were repaired and the coolant system on the engine has finally been fixed. Engine fixed. This is perfect height. We are big fans of holidays and as usual we put up a potted tree on Alba. I win this one. <gasps> Even Steven! Three. To us and our Two. subscribers, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas and I wish all of you to always have heating, electricity and hot water. Thank you so much for following our adventures last year. We are so grateful that you choose to spend your time watching our stories. If you haven't seen part one of this mini-series, check out our previous episode. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.